everyone, and welcome to a game of World of Warships. Today, it's one of my replays, and I'm in the Okhotnik, a tier 5 Russian destroyer. I'm on the map fault line in a free point domination game, and well, it's a tier 6 battle. Now, there's no carrier, which is nice, and I found myself an enemy destroyer. So, let's go and start the pew pew. Well, this is a Sheehan way, so he can't torpedo me, which makes this a lot simpler, because let's just face it, I'm not the most mobile destroyer. So I'm going to, well, carpet torp him there, and, well, obviously use my guns. Now, it looks like he has realized that he could shoot back. He's also not really using his smokescreen to the best effect, because, you know, if you just go full speed with your smokescreen... It's not going to do much, and now he has realized, you know, if you turn away and then you deploy the smoke behind you... It's very easy to disappear. Now, an Acasta has appeared. I don't really want to pick a gunfight with two destroyers, I think, so... Let's move on and try to take B. Now, the Hopnik is a fun little ship. It's, so I suppose, what happens if you have too much vodka and then try to design a ship. It's it's basically, it's just guns and torpedo launches. I mean, let's, let's just... I mean, let's, let's look at this, right? That's four torpedo launches and, like, five guns in the back, two guns in the front. Uh... Now, despite all of that, this ship is, I would say, balanced. It's Well, the torpedoes have a very short range, the guns have a very long reload, and this boat is so big that it's very hard to miss it if you actually shoot it. The range isn't that great, so open water gun boating is probably a bad idea. So, yeah. Uh, you have pretty reasonable concealment, so you're very good at ambushing other destroyers, but uh, while you do have a lot of alpha damage, I guess, with that many guns, it's like... The DPM is not as insane as you might think. You gotta be careful in a prolonged gunfight. Anyway, I personally think the Okotti is a very fun ship and it just looks silly. It's something that I at times take out when I need a break from high tier battles and just wanna have some fun. Because, I mean, you know, in, in this party boat, it's just going to be hilarious, most likely. Anyway, uh, it looks like we are taking all of the caps. The Xi'an Wei has decided to charge into A and, well, got obliterated. So what am I going to do now? We have all the caps. Uh, it looks like most enemies are at the C camp, so maybe I need to help over there. But there isn't a caster around here. And what would the caster do? Yes, obviously he's going for the B cap. He probably thinks I have left because I've taken the cap and now he wants to come in here. So, you know, let's... Uh, Thank you. Also, the guns here can rotate 360 degrees, which sometimes you think you can shoot an enemy because it shows green, but you can't because the guns are, well, kind of blocked by your ship. But anyway, uh, the Acasta also hasn't realized that he can <laughs> shoot back. He also isn't very aware how to use a smoke screen, and I'm reversing here because I'm hoping I threw his top launch off. Because this ship, as I said, it's it's not very nimble, you know, for destroying. Yeah, so long that dodging torps is not that simple. But you know, the enemy screwed up his torp launch. My uh, reverse tactic seemed to work. And so far so good. So what are we going to do next? Well, I guess we are now moving towards sea camp where there is a large concentration of enemy ships. The enemy team is down to only one destroyer. And yeah, I feel like the Okotnik is best at... Engaging other destroyers simply because with the concealment edits here it can often sneak up on them and then with the first salvo they are probably panicking already. Oh and let's face it, I mean a lot of people here are inexperienced and don't know how to deal with an Okotnik. So there is that. Now if you are forced to engage other ships it's a bit more complicated because outside of your smoke as I said you are not very good at open water gun boating. And you know even inside your smoke you are a very big target to hit. And your torpedoes are basically only for YOLO rushes because with like four and a half kilometers range, you know, you are detected for over a kilometer before you're into torpedo range. Now here is a Devonshire. And the thing is, am I the one spotting him? Most likely. If I want to... Well, I'm trying to smoke up here anyway. And I should probably go armor piercing. Because he's showing so much lovely broadside, but you know. Lost wish. And now the Kamikaze is spotted, so I decided, you know what? I think I might just want to engage the Kamikaze, right? 
Or Kamikaze disappeared inside its smokescreen. The Devon Shy isn't paying any attention to me because he's being rushed by uh, a part. So let's uh, randomly carpet top the Kamikaze. He is just inside torpedo range. Now, Kamikaze is a very dangerous torpedo boat, so once again, I'm slowing down here. I assume he's already launched his torpedoes and I'm trying to throw off his aim here. Also, I'm trying to keep my rear guns pointed at him. We use all of the damage and it's, it's very helpful that none of this destroyers is shooting back. Because otherwise I would be a lot lower in health. And well, that's the third destroyer we've engaged so far. So that's nice. I mean, the Xi'an Wei escaped early on. I think he lost half of his health, but then he just got taken out into the A-cap, so you know. I mean, at this point, it's rather clear that we are going to win this. Or let's just say it takes a miracle for the enemy team to come back. But you know... There are a lot of ships inside the D-cap, and I've just said that you kind of need to, to, to charge the enemy in order to get your torps off. So this, this seems like the perfect uh, situation for me, because even if I just charge in there and do nothing, we are probably still going to win. Like this, this is a situation where I feel confident that even if I take an unnecessary risk, I'm not risking the game. As a whole, if this was a little uh, closer, then I would play this more careful. Now it's very dangerous kind of thinking because sometimes trying to win harder can lose you battles, so you want a very big advantage, I suppose, until you do more questionable things. But as I said, I feel confident here. Now the Bayan is well. I mean, he is going behind this island. I can't really torpedo him right now. And just shoot him a little bit with my guns here but he will going to disappear behind this island momentarily and that's good because that allows me to sneak up on him even more i'm also lucky that it looks like he was not ready to fire right here because as i said like the, this this boat is so long that it's uh it's very easy to... now on the bright side you know uh since you cannot penetrate destroyers it's not as problematic as it might have this might used to be. They're going to hit you, but at least they're going to get only over pen damage. Now here we are, Bayern is... But the Bayern's idea of dodging troops is to slowly go into reverse. So, um, the third launcher here is overkill, and it's actually a very bad idea, because I could have used that launcher on Kong. As you see, I only needed five troops to sink that battleship and I launch 9 at him, well, we still have 3 for the Coco, but 3 is probably not going to cut it. Now, thankfully, you know, we are here at low tiers, which means torpedoes do tend to reload quite quickly. So, uh, very soon I'm going to have some torps again. Also, I mean, Adrenaline Rush is kicking at this point, so I reload even a little bit faster. And there we go, that's 3 against the Congo, but you know, 3 is just... Uh, that's true enough. Now the Congo has very little room to maneuver. I'm not sure if he's going to beach here or not. Or if he's trying to stop. So we have some probes going. Unfortunately we lost Wish. Now I could peek out here, but then he could just shoot back and sink me. Uh, I still have one launch already. And well, okay, I have two launches ready. So I could just, you know, blind launch here. I'm not running RPF on this thing because I have the... This is advanced firing training for more range. I mean, even if they... Range. It only goes up to 11 kilometers. And well, it turns out that we got the Congo. So now I'm up to four kills. Can we get the Kraken? There is a Nuremberg. It's on very low health. I should probably go armor piercing here because he's showing broadside. But you know, we're going to win on points before, before I can sink here. And here we are with the results. So this was this was a fun little battle in the Okotnik, the party boat, the long boat, the war canoe. This ship has a surprising number of nicknames, despite its lack of popularity. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit different from the high tier content that I post most of the time. Sometimes you just need to go a bit to the lower tiers and regain your sanity. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll see you guys next time.